On January the 13th, 2021, a video was posted that would represent the peak of a meme that will go down in the history books. The voice actors that were behind the iconic Lamar Rose Franklin meme graced the world with a reenactment of the iconic scene. What's up, can a low come up in your crib? I don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe if you got rid of the old yee yee ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. Nigga. With this, the template had truly come full circle. In this video, I'll be diving into the Lamar Rose Franklin meme, exploring the humble beginnings in the beginning to its most recent resurgence, to the icing on the cake that we just witnessed, as well as dive into the future of this meme and how certain creators are proving that there truly is no limit to how far a meme can be pushed. So hello, g'day, my name is Geordie Short Ribs and I've been making memes for a few years now. And on this channel, I like to do deep dives into the origins as well as the techniques that go into making them. So if you like that kind of stuff and you want to get rid of that yee ass haircut of yours, click the subscribe button. Now that's the formalities out of the way, let's just jump back into it. So how did we get here? The origins date back to September 17th, 2013, when Grand Theft Auto V was released. In the game, the characters Franklin and Lamar interact after the story mission, Franklin and Lamar. During their exchange, Lamar says the following. What's up, can a low come up in your crib? Man, fuck you, I see you at work. Oh, nigga don't hate me cause I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe you got rid of that old yee yee ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon the lawyer she fucking with, nigga. What? That day, the YouTube channel Video Game Source GTA 5 uploaded the clip. Over the next six years, the video would receive over 37,000 views. Another version was uploaded by a user called Arm Haiti on the 18th of November 2014, which gained even more traction and garnered nearly 3 million views today. The scene was very quick to become a favorite among fans, inspiring various memes, fan arts, and remixes. Now, a few years later, on January the 22nd, 2016, a YouTuber by the name of Goodfields PhD posted a YouTube poop remix of the scene. And over the coming years after this, it was a reference that would be made time to time across the web and would only occasionally rear its beautiful head. Legendary creator 2Mad made a video in Fortnite called Yee Yee As Haircut. But at this time, it was still just a humble meme and no one could predict what would happen only a couple of years later. Everything up to now was just a prelude to the main event. On May 13th, 2020, Twitter user Leo Sleepy uploaded a video of this scene with Lamar's voice changed to SpongeBob's. I think I don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe if you got rid of that old yee as haircut. And just a little over a month later, on June the 17th, 2020, a pivotal player would join the server. Hit Content Productions. The channel uploaded the scene using the audio from Leo Sleepy's meme, but replacing Lamar with Spongebob. You stop fucking with that brain surgeon or lawyer she fucking with. Nigga, uh -huh. The video received over 2 million views in half a year. On the 27th of October, a YouTuber by the name of Tyler NY posted a video, British Lamar, original, in which Lamar's dialogue was rewritten and redubbed as if he was British, which was a trend at the time. Now this would be the basis for another timeless classic posted by hit content productions, Harry Potter, Rose Franklin, calmly. A word. Blimey mate, don't have feelings of anger towards me because I'm more of a dazzling fellow. However, if you dispose the fine devious haircuts. Following the same formula as he'd done before, he used the audio from Tyler MY's video and replaced Lamar's model with Harry Potter. In the following weeks, hit content productions would continue the onslaught and posted several more videos based on the cutscene. One of the most notable renditions was Kermit the Frog Roasts Franklin. Maybe you get rid of that old yee yee ass haircut, you get some bitches on your dick. This addition to the template took the web by storm and truly reached the masses. By late December 2020, more YouTube users joined in on the trend. The blitz of roasts was relentless, with hundreds of versions being shared to great success. At this stage, it would appear the well had been truly dried and that there's not much more that can be done. But we would soon learn that the surface had yet to be scratched. Enter 
a modern day Michelangelo, aka Murphish, who began to show what was possible with posts such as Lamar's roller coaster, uploaded on January the 3rd, 2021. What's up? Can a low come up in your crib? Oh, they're gonna hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe you got rid of that old yee ass haircut you got because some bitches on your dick. His unique set of skills had further pushed the envelope. The story no longer needed to be constrained to just that cutscene. Now the world was beginning to wander deeper and deeper into the psyche of Franklin and Lamar. Personally, I began to worry. It felt like a Black Mirror episode. What if he was sentient? Murphish, with the momentum in his favour, doubled down and explored deeper, and presented hit after hit of out-of-the-box ideas. With such contributions as 37 Lamars roasting Franklin. So, 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 can can come in your crib? Lamar roasts you. Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe you got rid of that old yee-yee-ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. To so Franklin gets away from it all. It's just a fucking mask. Nigga. It was clear that this meme had the love and depth that no one expected, and the world was invigorated. More and more creators saw the potential and joined in. There was so much left to do. Enter Mighty Raccoon. With an entry so damn divine, you would think he was working on this for years. Franklin roasts everyone. But surely after all this we could put it to rest. January 13th. The new year, well underway. Optimism at a high. A video surfaces. It didn't need any background check. Our guts knew what we were seeing was history in the making. A video titled GTA 5. Lamar roasts Franklin in real life with Slink Johnson and Sean Fontano. The voice actors behind this legendary meme graced us with their rendition. Articles are written. Peace pours over the net. The world for a short time is perfect. The circle is complete. But is it over? Are we sick of it? You guys give up or you're thirsty for more? As of the time of recording this, no, it's not over. And no, we are not sick of it. Very quickly, we see the meme gain more lifeblood than ever. 37 real life Lamars, side by side comparisons, you name it. All the while, a very important player had been unusually quiet. Murphish, no post in five days? Could he be missing out on the greatest gold rush we have ever seen? One he was responsible for? Surely not. Then a notification rang out across the world. What we opened was a post so legendary, I'm sure our grandchildren will wonder what it was like to be alive at that time. He's like, I was there when that Chappelle freak, I was there. And this post was called the Los Santos Institute of Roastology. I was thinking it's important I use my powers for good, not evil. Every single possible 3D character that had joined the ranks was now part of a multiverse. A huge complex dedicated to roasting Franklin. Computers can be seen with roasts happening on screen. Absolute art is an understatement. All I now wonder is where to next? Can this meme be alive forever? As we know, all things that go up must eventually come down. But I believe it has transcended the usual weekly, monthly cycle that we are used to and has joined the ranks of memes that will forever be held dearly to the heart. One thing for sure is, the circle is complete. And we've now entered the realm of bonus meme. Whatever happens next, we will be watching with bated breath.
Okay, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, press the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button. Now, I'm going to put some of my previous breakdowns in one of these corners here. So give them a whirl if you haven't seen them. And yeah, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts were, what you want to see next. What are you, what are you Team Franklin, Team Lamar, whose side do you want? That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>